Hey, how you doing out there? Uh, welcome to another episode of Jesse's Fly Shop. Uh, today we're going to be tying up some fun stuff, something different, uh, something not for trout. The other day I decided to take a little trip, take a little gamble, uh, wanted to get my feet wet in uh, what's pretty popular in our in our area, uh, the shad run. Shad is a anadronomous species of fish. That means they spend part of their life in salt water, part of their life in fresh water. So what happens is, and if I'm not, I might, I might be mistaken, but you know, I'll just wing it. What happens is uh, the shad, they are born in the rivers. They eventually make their way down the Delaware River into the ocean. And however many years later, they go ahead, swim right back up that uh, river and uh, make some babies of their own. And that's that. That's the life cycle. So so the other day, I just decided to go up there. I was uh, swinging some flies, uh, swinging a fly. that a nice feller from a uh, fly shop out in Pennsylvania that the, gave to me. Uh, unfortunately, that's not the one we're going to be tying because I don't have any more and I don't remember what it looks like. Ha! <laughs> But I'm going to be tying an imitation of a shad dart. Um, first, I want to show you what a shad looks like. So that's what we'll do here. I'll actually, I'll show you the one I caught the other day. Here you go. Oh, yeah. Out here on the Delaware, swinging flies for shad. Woo-hoo-hoo. Ain't that rad. See you later, dude. All right, now that you see what a shad looks like, it's a pretty cool looking fish, you know, nice and shiny, thick, fought like hell. That was pretty cool. Um, let me show you what a shad dart looks like. So this is what we call a shad dart. Um, I don't know why they call it a dart, maybe because it's shaped like it, maybe because back in the day they used to play darts with it. I don't know. But yep, there you go. This, basically what I did with that fly was uh, casted it out down and across uh, stream, let it swing out in the current, and uh, when it got down to the end of the swing, and this, this method, believe it or not, is actually called swinging the fly. So when it got down to the end of the swing, I let it hang. They call that the hang down. And bam! Bam, 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 bam. Bam. Fish on. So I'm going to tie up... Uh, We'll call it my spin on the shad fly. We'll call it the rad fly. All right. So let me bring you through a few of our materials here. Uh, we got some white marabou. All right. Some white little uh, feathery kind of marabou over here. This is fun stuff. This is a little uh, reddy orange crystal dub flash. Fun, 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 fun. Over here. Don't know if you could see that that's red thread all right so I also have a little bead over here for bead head you know gives it some weight get it down those fish are on the bottom you want to be dredging the bottom all right so that's where we'll start forgot to mention I got one more material here this is some uh, crystally uh, wrappy kind of flashy stuff I don't know what they call it you'll see okay so before I even put the uh, thread on the hook um, I put this little bead here. I slid it all the way to the front. That's the bead head. All right Now we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna fasten our thread to the hook. All right, so start in the front Make some wraps all the way down to the back all the way down all the way down to the back Rappy 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 rap, rap, rap. Wrap it all the way down to the back there boom Get it all the way down there stop right about there. Okay. All right now you're gonna take some of your white marabou. This is going to be the tail. All right. We're going to take about, hmm, if I had to guess, oh, we'll call it 20 strands. Ha! Ah, where does he get these numbers from? Yeah, 20 strands. All right. We'll just tear it. See it there? Got it? All right, cool. Lay it on top of the uh, fly there. Boom, boom, boom. And then we're going to tie it down. All right. Tie it down, wrap in that extra stuff, jing, jing, jing. Wrap it down. All right, so you can see we got that, uh, we got that laid on there. That will be our tail. 
kind of wrap in this extra stuff here. Wrappy, 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 wrappy. Don't worry about it being a little messy because we're going to cover it up with some other stuff. All right. But now we're going to tie in that little crystally flashy stuff. I have. All right. So I'm going to take this stuff. I'm going to take the tail end of it. I'm going to tie it in at the very, very, very back of this fly. All right. Tie it in, wrap it down, secure it to the hook. All right. And now we're just going to let that stuff take it. Forget about it for a little while. All right. I'm going to take some of this uh, little red flashy dubby orangey stuff. Take it. I'm going to spin it right on the hook. We call this uh, making a dubbing noodle, as you can see here. So what you do is you twist it right on the thread, all right? And then you can wind it onto the hook, all right? See that? Boom. I think that's enough. Again, it's the first time I'm ever tying a fly like this, so. All right. Get your noodle together. Here we go. Make a few wraps in the back of the hook. kind of just made a few wraps in the back there and now I'm going to continue towards the front with yeller I mean yellow I mean yellow all right now we're going to do the same thing we're going to make a little dubbing noodle with the yeller all right but this one we're going to make a little bit thicker a little bit longer okay take it we're going to taper it up all right so thinner in the back bigger in the front because that's kind of how the dart looks whoops all right take it now we're gonna make some wrappies first we want to start in the back get it the same thickness as the red you tied in before now once it's as thick as the red wrap it towards the front of the hook all right you might need to add more which is what's going to happen right now all right, you can see how I started with the red in the back, worked my way forward towards the front with some more yeller. All right, don't worry about all that extra hair up in, in the back. We're gonna we're gonna wrap that stuff down with this. That's the whole point of that. All right, all right. Now we're gonna take this stuff. Remember this stuff. All right, we're gonna start in the very back of the fly here. We're gonna take it and wind it. Starting from the back, cover the red stuff first. Try to do it nice and evenly. Covering all the hairs, creating some, almost like a film-like cover. All right, bring it all the way up towards the front. Mm -hmm. Each time going a little bit more over the piece before it. Alrighty, continue forward, rappy, 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 so there you have it ladies and gents, that's uh, that would be my take on a shad dart, will it catch one, ha, probably not, but Let's see, we'll put them side by side. What do you think? Very close. I mean, this thing is all solid lead right here, but this is all fun stuff. Yeah, so <clears throat> that's what I got for you guys this week. I know that's pretty mediocre. I'm not crazy proud of it, but uh, if it catches a fish, I will be, and you'll be... Uh, shaking your head going wow that kid is messed up so anyways tune in next week or the week after or whenever the hell i feel like making another video so fish on dudes and tie on dudes hey 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 how you doing uh this is uh jesse from jesse's fly shop you might not recognize me because this is how i look when i go to work minus these stupid sunglasses uh Sorry, right, people are looking at me right now while well, seeing why I'm talking to myself, but I just wanted to tell you that little uh, shad fly we tied up together, 
I got about four hits on it. I didn't catch anything on it, but I got four hits, so we'll count that. I did, however, catch a shad on a fly. Actually, it wasn't a fly, an actual shad dart that looked just like the one we tied. So I think we did a good job. I'll show you that right now. Whew. Cooking up dope with a Uzi. My niggas is savage, ruthless. We got thudders and hunter 